Hello everyone, I've got an Aldi haul. Oh boy, they were pretty busy over there again. Um, we really went over there to look to see if they had any more of those advent calendars for cats. I kind of figured they wouldn't. Um, for $3.99, it was really a great deal. And the, the little treats and things that are in it, Kitty loves them all so far. Um, I don't know if what all is different. There's like four or five different things in it. And uh, so far, she really likes them, you know. So we thought we'd get her another one, but they were out, of course. They were out of the dog ones, too. Um, I kind of figured that would happen, though. But I thought we'd take a chance and see. So, you know, we ended up with stuff. Um, here's something different. We've been uh, talking about sweet potatoes and trying to get more sweet potatoes in our diet than regular potatoes. So I got this uh, specially selected ready to roast carrot and sweet potatoes. Uh, potato and seasoned with sea salt, garlic, rosemary, brown sugar, and pepper. And you roast them. Just like bacon. Roast them. And that was $2.99. It's not bad, I don't think, for that. Well, something nice to try. Different. It's good for you. Carrots and sweet potatoes. They didn't have any um, spring mix. Um, so even though the Italian salad has some iceberg lettuce in it, it's also got green leaf lettuce, radicchio, uh, and, 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 and iceberg. So we went ahead and got that. That's the only one that, that really looked good, you know, uh, what they had left. Um, they had some, uh, like, holiday flavors of yogurt. Kitty, move that over a little. Uh, and uh, Joy's already tried hers. She got cranberry yogurt. Um, and I took a taste of it, and it was, it was great. I mean, it was really, really good. So then I also got, I got this one for Logan. Uh, it's the mint chocolate chip. These were 79 cents. The salad, I was trying to think of how much that salad was. Um, I'll just go over it and at, at the end. I'll leave my pen there so I'll know. Mint chocolate chip. And mine is eggnog flavor. We might do, we're going to do one of these tonight. Um, well, this will come out afterwards. But on, on Logan's Snack Review, Logan's Awesome Snack Reviews, we're going to be trying some of this stuff. And, um... But I don't think we're going to try two yogurts. We'll pick one to try uh, on it. But this will come out after the show anyway, so you already have seen it. Okay. What do we got else over here, Kitty? Sorry. Did I hit you? Got some eggs. Really expensive. Of course, everywhere. We got three more. This is the best deal they got in yogurt. The whole milk, toasted coconut. And they also got some that are... Um, like a hundred calorie that are the same price 59 cents and they I, I did confirm that they did go up on their regular yogurts that were 39 cents to 59 cents That's crazy. I can get them for 50 cents at Kroger So I'll be buying them there and that's about a first when I say I'll be buying something cheaper somewhere else than Aldi But this is the best deal because they're also 59 cents. They just don't have many a whole lot of flavors But that's the one to get right now because these are really good Okay, let me have this kitty. Okay. Um, I'm going to make, uh, I'm going to make with that, instead of a peanut butter pie, with this Oreo, I can reach it. Oh, it's got some. I'm going to use this and make a cheesecake, that Oreo crust. Those are just packs of ketchup and stuff kitty she's wondering what that stuff is that's ketchup and stuff and these went up super high the croissants uh didn't realize it until we already got them i don't know if i'm gonna get these anymore i believe it was 519 they used to be 395 joy loves these little baby bells so we got her some of those this is the other two yogurts Okay, and we got some little cucumbers. Okay, I'm going to put this stuff up because it's been out for a little while. And I'll be right back. All right, Kitty's down here finishing her um, tuna thing. <coughs> it reminds me, we've got to <clears throat> order some more of them. 
And what I like right now is they're the same price on Amazon as they are at Walmart. And you know, they'll put them right on your front porch. So uh, that's better than driving to Walmart and getting them, you know, uh, tax and all is still the same, same price. So um, I'm gonna have to get her some, some more because I would much rather her eat that than, she's not been eating treats. The only treats that she's had is in the advent calendar. That's just a few in one a day, you know, just has little, maybe six little pieces of something or something like that. So, and it's her treats for Christmas, but she's doing so good um, on, on dry food and eating her, her wet food too. Um, they had, I thought they had kettle chips in these also, but I got the, this, uh, it's peppermint flavored kettle corn, the Clancy's, Clancy's brand. It says a sweet and salty holiday treat. And this is one of the ones that we'll be trying. Looks like I said, you'll already see this book, see that before this, but they had several things I'd like to have got. We just didn't want to spend a whole lot of money. You know, um, they had several, I'm thinking they had, like I said, uh, I was thinking they had kettle chips of some kind, but maybe I saw where it said kettle corn and thought it was kettle chips. I don't know. Um, they had all kinds of, uh, not tons of them, but they had different kinds of cookies and stuff. But we, I didn't want to get a whole lot of really sweet stuff because we've got something else we're trying that's sweet tonight. Um, here's another thing we had never tried, and this is a real a good buy, really. Um, I'll, I can't remember. I'll look at the let me set this here so I'll remember to look. Uh, they're like they're like Cheez Its, and I wouldn't doubt they make it because they had Cheez Its, the real Cheez Its, sitting right next to it. You know, only it was like a nine ounce box for, I forget how much, three something for nine ounces. Well, this one's 21 ounces. So, I mean, you can see it's a big box. So that's another thing we'll probably try. Did you finish your food? You still got a little bit. You didn't need it all. Okay, get over here. That's a good girl, lay down or something. I got some beef steak tomatoes. They look pretty good to feel nice. Instead of mushy, yeah, there's one underneath the rest of the tuna. <laughs> uh, peppers, you really gotta look these days because they it seems like they will rot fast in, anymore. Um, I wish I, I, I ate so many of them, or we ate so many of them and gave so many of them away. I didn't really have any peppers to put up this year, but that's fine, they're not super expensive anyway. So, I got three. Three pack, that's the only way they got those uh, peppers. We use a lot of them anyway. Um, we got Logan some Chakur, I think that's how you pronounce that. Dark chocolate bar, 49%. And I got one of these last time we were there. And let me tell you what, these are really, really good. And they're only 140 calories for one and the uh, rest of the nutrition facts look, look pretty good. The chocolate's gonna give it a little bit of fat, but only 18% of saturated fat and 8% of total fat. And only 22% of sugars, that's not too bad. And this is about like a candy bar or something to me. I mean, that's really, that chocolate is just really good with the, the peanut butter. And Oh, we haven't had any of these in a long, long time, but I've got, we've been eating frozen pizzas. You know what? It's so much better for you to make your own. We've still got one that we got for free, and that one we got down at Grocery Outlet that was a smaller one. I'll probably try that at lunch one day. But this makes really, really good pizzas, and there's four of them in here. The non, the garlic, non flat bread. Let me tell you. That is perfect for one person, each one. I can't remember if we might use two of them for three of us or if we made all three of us one. But, you know, you might have some leftover. You could have it for lunch the next day or something. But um, let me tell you, this makes great pizza. And they actually have, I almost got them, they actually have a mini one that's only about, like, not much bigger than this here, you know. Um, I almost got them, but I remember liking these a whole lot. They probably taste the same, though. But if you wanted a smaller one, you could get them. So I can't wait to, to make some homemade pizza with that. Uh, 
Got some gala apples. I can smell them. They smell good. And then these have gone up so much. We used to get a lot of these, but we don't anymore. This is the lemon bell V. They've gone up so high, it's ridiculous. They really have. A lot of their things have. Okay, let's see. The, I can't remember all the prices. So the Bell V was $385. That used to be $245 maybe a year ago or a little more than a year ago. I'm just saying that's the lowest it ever was, was $245. Um, cream cheese used to be like $0.89, cents, but it's $1.59. The Gala apples I thought were a decent price, $2.99. The, the flavored yogurts, cranberry, eggnog, and mint chocolate uh, were 79 cents. The Greek yogurts were 59 cents. The beefsteak tomatoes, 239, that's fair. The croissant things went up to 519. They used to be 395. I can't believe that. And they're smaller too. They're not as big as they used to be. At least the sausage for sure is. Uh, the croissant's still fairly good size, but all those, any of those, even Jimmy Dean's are smaller now. Uh, the ready to roast vegetables, the uh, carrots and sweet potatoes, $2.99. I thought that was a pretty good price. It looks really good. Eggs were $3.46. They're probably more elsewhere even. Uh, Italian salad mix was $2.49. The chewy dip bars, I think, are a decent price for $1.45. They used to be $1.39. The mini baby bells are 322. The green peppers were 209. You know, produce is going to go up in winter anyway. It used to be $1.79. Um, the non bread 429. That's I don't think that's really that bad for for uh, four pieces of that. Um, they're pretty big too. The oh I got something I got uh, something else for a Christmas uh, for Logan. Um, the kettle corn uh, was two twenty nine, and that's not a bad price on that really. Uh, the mini cucumbers dollar eighty nine. They actually used to be two nineteen. So see what I mean about produce? It can go up and down a little. Almond bar or dark chocolate bar was dollar thirty nine, and the cheese crackers three eighty nine. That's not bad considering how much is in there. I mean that is a family size box. That's what I was trying to tell Joy. The other the real cheeses they had, and I guarantee you these are probably the same thing. Sitting right next to it were like three eighty nine for nine ounce box, which this dwarfed it, you know, or it, it was so small up against this. So we had to go ahead and get this one, and we're going to be trying those. So other than that, I don't think we got any. We didn't get any waters or anything, so that's it. Um, and was that? Cheese came to fifty nine forty nine, so we didn't do too bad. So, so everybody, I hope you enjoyed this Aldi haul. It wasn't a huge one, but I got some neat stuff. I thought, and I can't wait. I'll I'll do a short or something when I do the non bread. Um, I I do have a I have actually have a cooking video, probably from two or three years ago, that I did. Uh, the very bread, that same bread from the non bread from Aldi, if you want to check it out. Um, makes a great pizza, it really does. That cr makes a great crust. So, anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this uh, medium sized haul. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that. So, you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a great day, and we'll see you later on. God bless.